tiny, not suspiciously large woman. Oh my goodness, welcome to Kind of Cabaret Club. Are you excited? Oh my god, your hostess with a Moses is waiting just behind the curtain and you have not seen her, you have not seen her at all. You are surprised by my appearance, aren't you? Yes? We're all in agreement that this is not happening. Exactly, yes. Oh my god, Barry Island, I love your face. I love you. We're so good at this. Anyway. Play cool, play cool. Oh wait, no, play it, play it, just play it. Discharge! Ooh! Before. 
Okay, okay, there's just one thing I want you to know. Anyone who points this microphone, I can keep running with it. So I will find the person who points and I will sit on them. <laughs> Don't you make someone feel weird? I already do that myself. I'm painted in stereo. Everything's about a sort of some sort of 3D headache whenever you look at me. Welcome. It's about to get weird. Are you excited? Um, well, there's one woman who literally just looked at me and went, Hi Brenda, I can see you. It's gonna be amazing, I promise. We're gonna have a great time. I promise. Yeah, you. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a great time. I promise. She is not convinced. Okay. But this is the thing, so for any of you who haven't been to see a burlesque or cabaret show before, I'm telling you this. What do we do when we see something amazing, entertaining, gorgeous, beautiful, glamorous, insane, eclectic, electric, and wonderful? <laughs> that is very good. Maybe we'll just try that one more time now. What kind of a noise do we make? One, two, three! <laughs> Do you want to see someone rather fabulous, sexy, gorgeous, and glamorous? Yes! yes. Then maybe, darlings, we should welcome to the stage our first performer for the evening. What do you think? Woo! I agree wholeheartedly. Otherwise, it's just me doing Enya sounds for about two hours. <laughs> yeah. oh. That's how it sounds to me. It's just whale song with a beat, you know. <laughs> I know, everyone's like, Enya? Really? <laughs> But this is the thing, I think it might be time to welcome someone beautiful and beguiling to the stage in her first ever solo performance, my darling. Are you ready? Are you excited? Thank you enough for the wonderful, the beautiful, the amazing, Tennis Lestrange!
Tim Bill for the Tim Ethan! Oh my goodness. And that is just part one, one bit of our amazing, incredible show for you tonight. Oh my god, how scandalous. Oh, the fabulousness that's about to happen. This is the thing though, I was recently at home, uh, wait, well, visiting back home, so I'm from the Give it up for our stage hands. <laughs> Little funny, very naughty. So, this is the thing. I was back home very recently, and back home for me is uh, Clan Grove or Clan Cloudy. So, it's a very small town just on the border of Wales and England. And I was visiting my parents, and I was teaching a hen party in a barn that I grew up five minutes down the road from, which was hilarious. But, <laughs> So I was doing this show, and I was doing all this stuff, and I was explaining to people why I do what I do, and where I work, and why I do burlesque, and why I work in this industry. And the very fact is, because it's the best fucking industry in the world. Yeah! Yeah, the reason I say that is because it's a wonderful place to explore your sexuality, your sensuality, your politics, your beliefs, your wondrous, incredible, beautiful, amazing, spectacular, and most importantly, individual voice. Because, my darlings, you all have incredible individual voices and you should use them! You can do that through the expression of dance, you can do that through writing, you can just be political, you can do whatever you want to be. Because we have that ability and we should be able to share and lift each other up through these incredible art forms. So, if you want to learn about the art of burlesque, please make sure you go to cardiffcabaretclub.co.uk. Bam! <laughs> Fufu for a while now, haven't I, Fufu? But I never call you Fufu, do I? No, I call you Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. Now, usually I would never say that name on stage, but Stephanie is the name that a number of these next performers who are also debuting beautiful new work for you know her by. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm post verbal. <laughs> My goodness, my darlings, it's time to welcome to stage the incredibly talented, the amazing, spiritual, sexual, sensual badasses that are Stephanie's Tribal Belly Dance Group!
my God, give everyone a round of applause for this incredible bag dancing group. Of Cruz with Belle Stefan Bell, Stephanie, Stefan Wah, Stefan Bell Wah. Please welcome to the stage the amazing Stephanie Fufu de Bell. It's weird, I can't do it. We've completely broken the whole aura of Fufu de Bell. I actually thought you were Fufu, I wasn't actually. But I am Fufu, but oh, I'm just confused now, I'm just torn. Um, I was just going to mention something before we go any further. Um, as some of you will know, we've got a lovely, we've got two photographers actually here tonight because we've got Andrew, who's very kindly filming the show for us. So thank you very much. And we've also got Lorna, Lorna Cable, and a lot of you, yeah, a lot of you will see Lorna's stuff has popped up on Facebook and stuff, and she's done a lot of lovely black and white photography and colour, she doesn't just do black and white, um, uh, of, of the troupe and of all of us dancing at different things. And there's this little booklet, well there's a little magazine called Funny Little World by Lorna Cable and it's got lots of lovely photos of me in it. Uh, <laughs> but not just me, some incredible photos of, of the rest of the troupe and, and, and it's incredible. So I'm going to leave and, and she's selling, she's just had these producing little bunny rabbits on the back there and oh, just gorgeous and, and oh, recognise this photo? Last time we were here, that is you kowtowing, that's you praying to the goddess which is, oh you, it is Kitty Lepeur. Um So you know, you, you've got to, to check it out. I'm going to leave this copy, I'll leave it on the table just behind, oh there's a copy there as well. So that's Lorna, so stand up Lorna. <laughs> magazine for uh, eight pounds this evening so if you would like to buy your own copy maybe you'd like to have a look before you buy it but it's fantastic I mean just take it home and it's brilliant I'm gonna we've got some there and you can see Lorna in the interval and buy your very own funny little world fantastic so you've got a little memento of the shows anyway moving on um, our next act, we're going to do a little bit of burlesque now. We've had some fantastic belly dancing. And now we're going to have a little bit of burlesque and we're going to bring to the stage the beautiful Luby Lou as the lion. Thank you. 
was perfect. I hate myself, it's all right, it's fine. Oh my God, wasn't she amazing? One more time, Luby Lou, everybody. Um, I just wanted to point out, as, as uh, Steph slash Fufu, it's so weird for me going in between two names like that. Um, <laughs> ooh, on stage, very confusing. So, but, it is a very important point that um, what we do is so steeped in tradition and story and style and dialogue and all these different things that have come from so many different places and they inform our work in such a special and specific way. Um, the burlesque is such a story tradition in the same way that things like belly dance and cabaret and vaudeville have all these unusual traditions and styles and like when you pull up a thread you end up seeing almost the words of the diaspora coming out of it. It's kind of fascinating and that's one of the many reasons to love burlesque. But it's also one of the many reasons to love every single one of the performers and yourselves. Because why, darlings? Because by being here, by doing what you're doing, by supporting local burlesque and cabaret, you are supporting a scene. You are contributing that to, the, to that scene. Your clapping and your cheering allows young artists to keep breaking free and doing new things. It allows themselves to express themselves because you are what? Amazing! Give yourselves a round of fucking applause. You're what we like to call drag enablers, which means the Westboro Baptist Church hates you, and we love you for that. Well done, everybody. But would you like to see a new trio take the stage? Ooh, they are troublesome. Oh my goodness. These three are doing their first ever group choreo that they've done entirely themselves. Now, I'm not gonna brag, but this is kind of cool and fucking amazing. So every time someone takes a step onto the stage for the first time and does their own choreo and does all that stuff, it's fucking cool. So give a huge round of applause to these glam and sexy goddesses, because darlings, do you hear that explosion? Do you feel that heat? Do you feel the temperature rising? Well, you should. Because it's time for the most home music! <laughs>
nothing though. So, okay, so choreography is hard and like so is flexibility and stuff. So would you guys like to learn how to do a split real quick? Yeah. Do you want to learn how to figure out how to do a split? Fufu, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm fine. <laughs> so, okay, right, okay. Oh, okay, tell you what. I might make you wait a little bit longer. I think you need to earn figuring out how I can show you how to get into a split in like 10 seconds flat. Like, it's so good, you would not believe. Like, you're so tantalized right now. See, look at you. Tantalized? In the eyes. Look in the eyes. Look in the eyes. Look around the eyes. In the eyes. Look at the other eye. It's winking. Can you tell? Hi. So, but you know, I think I might want to take you on a journey somewhere. Yes, I want to take you on a journey. That's kind of what we do in cabaret. We take you on a journey, but where could we be going, guys? Well, I feel quite warm. Don't you? Don't you feel warm? Do you not feel the heat rising a bit? Oh, it's quite, it's quite arid. You know what I mean? It's quite dry. This heat. I can, I can, I can practically hear some sort of. Some sort of cawing in the distance, like we're in some kind of desert. Do you hear that? Yes. Do you hear it? Yes! <laughs> it's a very sick vulture. <laughs> very sick vulture. In the distance, a bison. It's a very distant bison, but it's, I don't know what a fucking bison sounds like. <laughs> But do you hear it? Do you feel that dry heat? We must be somewhere very hot. We must be... Oh, mm. the wild, wild west, my darlings. Woo! I know. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? You're practically right there, right now with me. You can see the cacti, you can practically touch it. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> He's so immersive. We break the fourth wall and everything. <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> yes, my darling. But what was populated by the wild, wild west? Well, some of the raunchiest, ranchiest cowboys and cowgirls you've ever seen. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to feel the heat in the desert, babies? Oh. Yeah. Then give it up for the finest cowgirl in town. It's time for Arabella's Buckle!
anyone can fit one of those giant chocolate eggs entirely into their mouths, then you win the chocolate egg that you just put in your mouth, which is amazing. Which is very important because there's something I want to talk to you about that's very important, my darlings. How many of you here have a cat? Yes? Excellent. Those who emotionally withhold from us and pop. Now, the other morning I woke up in the most blissful way. I had my little cat there. I was just slowly stirring, you know, the lights coming in through the window. It's that golden moment, you know, as you're just becoming aware of the world again. And then my beautiful, gorgeous little cat, tiny little black cat called Wednesday, and her Aunt Wednesday Adams is playing. And she wakes me up properly in the most wonderful way. She smacks me repeatedly around the face with her paws. And then when I don't wake up quite in time, she puts her paw square onto my mouth and digs her claws in. <laughs> Just the most beautiful way to welcome into the show, isn't it? And the way to welcome yourself into the morning. Because cats, my darlings, are one of the most fabulous creatures in the world. But I don't need to tell you that. No, I can show you. Oh my goodness, my creatures of the night, give it up for the incredible Cardiff Cabaret Club, Kitties!
So it's going to take us on a hot minute to clear this up. So while we do that, I'm going to sit here in silence and you're going to look at me. Would you like to see some more amazing yeah. invigorating belly dance? Would you like to see that incredible flow and flex, that control and gorgeous contortion? Would you like to see it? Yeah! Then give it up, my darlings, for the incredible dynamic duo that is the Belly Dancing Bells! Happy and partnered, fine. Fine. Okay, uh, okay. I'm with you. I'm right in it. So this is the thing. How many of you have been? How many of you have been on a date before? 
How many of you know what it's like to date currently? Steve Bright, I heard a few. Oh. Dating is hard and weird. I can tell you that much, darlings. And yes, I think it might be time to introduce you a performer who knows a little bit about that because I'm sorry, guys in the audience, but you are difficult, straight man. You are difficult to deal with. You, am I right? Thank you. So, you've been told. You are difficult to deal with, straight man. Because, my darlings, this next performer can explain to you why. And let me just tell you, dating, yes, is hard, but fuck boys, beware. It's time to welcome one lady who's just had enough. It's time to welcome to the stage the rampaging reality that is Starlet Lee!
I don't know if you know this, but Barry Island is one of the members of the first ever fully international drag house, The Garbage Family, which has members on over five countries. I know, can you believe it? They are a fucking badass and we are super happy to fucking see you. I love you, I miss you. So, where could we be going now? Is it Derby? No. Millwall? No. Mm, Skegness? Maybe. No. Maybe? No. My darlings. I'd like to introduce you to two very lovely people who are continuing our theme of love. Yes, yes. In the fabulous Gay Paris. Huh? I know, my darlings, it's time to get totally bilingual. <laughs> As we welcome to the stage the amazing Flissy Tees and Zaza!
just don't listen. Laugh without your love ain't life worth living. Try to go along, but there's something missing. I got nothing left since the death of you and I.
mean though, darling? So although that we have scoured the world, we've gone on all different places, we've been on a journey this evening, we are nearly at the end. Oh. I know, I know, I know, it's sad. Uh... By the way, could you just give another round of applause to our amazing yeah! And to Rob on sound, who's been kicking butt when I, right? Bits of my hair are falling, it's all a very strange time. So, but my darlings, one thing that we rarely get to do when we go and see live entertainment like Bellasque and Cabaret is do something very intimate. And I want to invite you to all do this with me. So, or rather, I'm going to watch you do it and I'm going to guide you through. I want you to do something for me. It's very simple. It's very simple. I want you all to close your eyes. Okay. That's very... Close, it. close those eyes. Close those eyes, Sir Jones, yes. And we're going to become aware of something in the room. <laughs> that was a very inopportune time to become aware of something in the room. Me, <laughs> Fuck me up. <laughs> in a good way, it's fine. So, my darlings, close, keep them close, 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 close. So we're going to become aware of something in the room, and it's not whatever that was. <laughs> I'm, don't, don't, don't tell us, it's fine. We don't need to know. Friends are friends. A friend. They live in the land. Lord. Friends are friends. It's silence. Silence is golden. Shut up. It's silence, my darlings. Yes, silence. Silence is precious. Silence allows us to do something very specific. I can shut up, you. Silence allows us to take in our surroundings and allows us to fully absorb the moment that's happening around us and find out that friends are indeed friends. <laughs> but, my darlings, I would like you to open your eyes and enjoy that silence with me as we take a breath on stage with the mother of the house, the incredible, the incomparable, Fuku LaBelle!
the bar. Thank you all very much. Thank you. And right, let's get cracking. We had some fantastic group dances. Um, we had some very unusual ones for the burlesque evenings. We had the belly dancers. So please put your hands together for my belly dance group. They were kind of a beginner group. Some of these ladies have never danced with me before. Some of them have. Um, it was quite a mixed mixed bag of, of dancers. And they did the chair dance. So in the beginning of the second half, they did the pussycats. So let's put your hands together for the pussycat dancers. Zaza Star and Blissy Tea. 
think we might see more from those two. <laughs> and to finish up the evening, we have the wonderful Luna C. Fern. Well, we're nearly there. We're just going to thank one more person who came all the way over to Bristol. We haven't seen him for a, a while. Brilliant to have him back. Please put your hands together for this Thank you so much, Cardiff Cabaret Club.